Everyone loves when the new season starts because it's a time to grind ranked. The servers are bumping, lots of people are playing, but after a certain amount of time, a lot of people find themselves falling into the same ranks and getting back into that hard stuck rut they always do. Well, hello everyone, I'm your hostess with the most is 8 Second Gaming, and in today's video, I'm going to be breaking down one tip for every rank so that you can stop being hard stuck and reach a new peak rank this season. And speaking of reaching peak ranks, if you guys want to actually start climbing and see massive results in your gameplay, you need to check out the Game Leap website right now. We have top level players, including myself, constantly making new videos, VOD reviews, and tons more other stuff that you will not find anywhere else, I promise you that. So if you want to climb to Diamond, Masters, or even Predator, click the link in the description, get your membership right now, or I'll steal all your left socks. Now do keep in mind I may say something for your rank you already know, but just keep watching the video cause as you climb you can start to implement more and more of this video and be better off as you go. But for the rank tips let's kick things off with everyone's favorite rank, Bronze. Bronze is a very straightforward rank, here all you need is a small amount of game sense. For bronze players, I don't recommend playing ranked at all actually. If you're struggling to climb in bronze, what you need to do is go back to pubs or regular arenas and just start learning more about the game. Learn about legends and how they interact with each other, different angles to hold in fights, what cover is effective for you, what guns do you like, and even learn some recoil patterns in the firing range. A lot of new players who are new to the game, and I mean most of the new players that are new to the game, hit level 10 and immediately jumped into ranked without really knowing a lot of basics to Apex. Maybe you came from another first person shooter and just assumed that the skills from that would transfer or maybe your friends pressured you into playing with them in ranked or something along those lines. But Apex is a very unique game in the sense of how fights play out and even though some skills from other games can transfer you still need to learn a lot. Go back to pub games, play until you're maybe level 50 or 60 and then come back to ranked. That way you'll learn a lot more about the game, understand a lot more, and just breeze through bronze. Now moving on we have our silver players. A ton of silver players that I've coached over my time playing Apex have the same issue. They all panic in fights. Every single time a teammate goes down, or they take a lot of damage, or they get ulted, they lose all sense of what to do and the fight or flight mode kicks in. And usually it's flight. If you are one of these players and you have no idea what to do, my advice is once again go into pub games. Drop hot every single game. Take as many fights as you possibly can. Remember, this is a pub game. It really means nothing. If you die, this isn't Call of Duty. No one cares about your KD. Get that stigma out of your head. As you put yourself in more and more uncomfortable situations, you'll start to see how to control them. And you'll learn a lot about what you need to do in order to maximize damage done while minimizing damage taken. This this will then allow you to jump back into your silver games with a lot more knowledge of fighting than others and you'll win a lot more of your 1v1s, 1v2s or even 1v3s. But now we are making our way into gold and gold is where a lot of people start to hit the hard stuck rank. You can lose points here so what do you need to do to stop that? Well for gold I do suggest you start learning how to play a meta character. In Apex legend abilities matter a lot and as harsh as it sounds low elo players have no idea how to use most off meta characters effectively. You can get away with using someone that isn't good in the current meta but you're putting yourself at a disadvantage in certain fights. Take Bangalore for example, a lot of players love her, she has a 5.5% pick rate currently. But in the current state of Apex, most of the teams are running at least one scan legend. There's Mad Maggie, Crypto, Seer, Hound, and to a certain extent Caustic as well. All of these scan legends you're bound to run into somebody that counters you in a fight. And with that you'll lose a lot of usefulness out of the legend. It's worth it to swap off, learn a meta character, and leave your favorite off meta character for pub games. Now there's always somebody that comments that you should just play the legend you enjoy, and if you want to do that, go for it, I'm not stopping you. But you have to go into fights knowing that you start off at a disadvantage and play around that. It's adding on another barrier that hinders your climbs. Trust me when I say it is better to use a legend who's good in the meta. But at the end of the day the only way to play a video game wrong is to not have fun, so if you really enjoy a certain character and have fun on nobody else, play them. Now for Platinum, this is THE hard stuck rank. Throughout the last few seasons, Plat 4 has had the highest concentration of players, meaning that this is the rank I'm guessing a lot of you watching reach and then teeter out, losing either motivation or just can't seem to make anything work. 
So what do you do then? Well, a huge issue I see people in this rank make is they think they need to kill everybody in the lobby. They see their favorite pro player or streamer or whoever run around wiping the floor with players and they think that they need to do the exact same thing in every single game. Well, that isn't you just yet. For you plat players, my advice is to slow down. There are so many skills when it comes to Apex. Fighting is one of them, but with the new rank changes they've placed at the start of the season, they're putting a lot more emphasis on placing top 5 and not fighting as much. Max KP is now 125, so you don't need to kill everything that moves. Slow down and take your time in these games. Land safely, loot up and get a good loadout, scan a beacon, see where zone is going to be pulling and then make your rotation. This way you're focusing more on your top 5 placement and then you can learn how to fight in the end game zones picking up your KP there. By actually slowing down your games you learn how to pick safer ways of getting around the map and you'll be learning a very valuable skill for the next few ranks. And that will really help you on your journey to climbing higher and higher. But now that you've passed Platinum and hit Diamond, what do you do? The people here are a lot harder to fight and the games aren't as easy. So what do you do? Well, it's quite simple really, you find a team to play with. Diamond is horrible for solo queuing, even if you know what you're doing it's bad. There's smurfs, boosters, players who have no idea what to do, everything is here so you need to stack the odds in your favor. And for those of you who rushed angrily to the comment section to type out the fact that you can't find a team, don't worry, I do have a couple solutions for you. Number one is to check out the other video we have on the channel here. It's called How to Find Perfect Teammates and goes over a bunch of different ways to find some homies to grind out ranked with. Number two is simply join the Game Leap Discord channel. A link for that will be in the description. There you will find an Apex channel where people are constantly trying to find teammates. Be it ranked, pubs, arenas, there's people for everyone there. So find a team, play as often as you can together. That way you'll learn how each other fights, their callouts, their habits, their tendencies in games, and you'll be a lot better off in climbing because of it. Having a set team that you know how to play with each other, you know how to fight, you know your team comps, everything will set you up for success in climbing in Diamond. But now congratulations, you've hit masters, you're now in roughly the top 2% of players. Here's where the game gets interesting because every small mistake you make is going to be highlighted. In this rank you know a lot about the game, enough to understand where and when you've done goofed. So my advice for you guys is to just really zone in and focus on your game and never make a mistake. Easier said than done, I know, but if you want to stop being a 10k Andy, you need to make sure that you're really doubling down on your own gameplay, seeing where in fights you could have done more to help or not have overcommitted, slight things like that. The tiniest of slip ups can lead to you losing a fight, something you may have gotten away with in diamond or platinum, but now you're in lobbies with potentially pro players, they will take advantage of you. And for the very small amount of you that may be in predator and wondering how to get higher in pred, you literally know what you need to do. If you've made it to Predator, all it is now is grinding out ranked and making sure you're putting in the time and effort. And to top things all off, I've seen hundreds of comments throughout my time playing Apex talking about how people don't have the time in the day to climb ranked. If only they had 14 hours a day to play ranked, they could be Predator too. Well, a friend of mine named Dylan Dubs is a full-time nurse. He works a ton, edits his own content for multiple platforms, and holds a Predator spot all season. If he has the time to hit Pred, you do too. Stop making excuses. If you want to hit a rank, then hit a rank. If you make excuses, you won't actually get there. I really hope these tips help you guys out on your rank climbs. Let me know down in the comments what rank you want to hit this season and let's see what everyone's shooting for. Also don't forget to smash that sub button and ring the bell. We have tons more tip videos on the way so don't miss out on them. Thank you all for watching. Once again, I'm 8 Second Gaming and I will see you in the next one.